Hi there, and this is Darren here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a crude, but very simple, high voltage power supply. I think that this tutorial is one of the most complete tutorials on YouTube as some other videos on YouTube are complete bullcrap and don't cover as much content as I do in this video. So before we start the video, I have a very important disclaimer to say. If you have never ever ever learned basic electronics and how electricity works, don't even think of making this high voltage power supply. It won't kill you, probably, if you touch the output of the transformer but you always have the possibility of frying a muscle, or even in some cases, killing you. But anyway, you'll still have a pretty bad day. So if you don't have any experience in electricity, don't try this, please, just watch and learn. But on the other hand, this is the perfect introduction into high voltage electricity, as it is safe enough for amateurs. So with that very important disclaimer out of the way, let's get into the project. So these are all the items needed, which I also have a link down below from where you can buy them. So first, an electronic fluorescent tube lighting ballast. You need a one which has a 120 or 240 volt input and four or more outputs, not the one which only has two connections from it, or also called a choke. We want a ballast, not a choke. You could also have the one with the wires already coming out of it, but mine doesn't. Also, more wattage the better, as you'll avoid having the magical smoke coming out of your ballast after 3 minutes or so. We are also going to need a wire stripper, some solder, some wire, some type of pliers, a cable that you might have salvaged from an old or broken thing, a soldering iron, and for the brains of this project, a flyback transformer from an old CRT TV. You can get these from dumpsters or TV mechanic shops, etc. as they are thrown away as they are very bulky and they aren't used anymore. So I'll find these for pretty cheap. But I also have a link down below from where you can buy one. Also you have to be really careful on how you desolder the transformer from the PCB. As if you break a pin, you're probably screwed. Also in addition with the wire, we are also going to need a high voltage, thick insulated wire. You can get this from the transformer itself, as it usually has some high voltage wires coming out from it, which are not needed. I'll explain later on, but I'm using the wires from another transformer, as I accidentally cut them a bit short. So now with all of that said, let's begin the build. So first, grab the ballast which should have a high voltage rating or else you wouldn't be able to turn it on for a long time, roughly 3 minutes. So now let's hook up the live, neutral and earth, which are the brown, blue and green wires respectively, to the ballast. If your ballast already has the wires to it, and doesn't say anything about which wire is to which, just connect the input wires to the live and neutral, and if you have, the earth to the earth wire. After you have connected those, let's go to the output side. So if it's like mine, you should have two pairs of output wires, adding up to four outputs. So we are going to need to connect one and two together, and then also use number four as our output. I found out this by experimentation, that if you connect three and four together and use one or two for the outputs, it doesn't work, at least by my design. So if yours doesn't work, just do a little bit of experimentation and you'll find the output. So if yours has the wires coming out of it, connect one pair of colored wires, example blue, and grab another wire and use those as the output. As I said before, do a little bit of experimentation if yours doesn't work. So now I'm just going to cut 5 pieces of wire to wire everything up. Now grab 2 pieces of wire and insert one into number 1 and the other into number 2. Then join the two wires together. Then grab another piece of wire and put it into number 4. And just like that, we're ready from the wiring of the ballast. 
So now let's get to the flyback transformer. So we are going to need to cut a high voltage wire from the transformer itself. And usually there are two or three wires tied together and cut one from there. Just don't cut the thicker wire or longer wire or the wire that has the suction cup on it. As that will be our first high voltage output. After we cut the wire, we strip it. So now we are going to need to solder this thick wire to the second high voltage output. Also usually, the high voltage pin is the fourth pin from the last. You can check this by hooking up the ballast to the primer of the transformer, then checking which pin arcs best. I'll talk about it in just a second, because first, I should have hooked up the ballast to the primary first. So now we are going to need to hook the ballast outputs to the transformer primary or input. Now almost 99% of the transformers have the first two pins as the primary or input. If not, check with the multimeter which pins have a low resistance. That would be a good chance that they are the primary. So now we are going to need to solder these two wires to the two pins of the primary. Also, as I said before, you should have soldered these first and then the high voltage wire. Not like me, so that you can test which pin is the high voltage one. Now we are going to need to connect one wire of the primary of the transformer that we have just soldered to the two joint wires on the ballast, then the other wire of the transformer to the other wire on the ballast like this. Now we'll just put some electrical tape on the connections so that nothing shorts out. Now we make sure that nothing is shorted out or otherwise nothing will work. So now we are basically ready and everything should look something like this. And before we test this out, it's also important that you don't power this for long intervals. Either you are going to end up with a fried transformer or a fried ballast, which had the magic smoke come out of its capacitors like mine. So don't run this for a very long time. Mine only can run for 3 minutes intervals or it will make really weird sounds and eventually stop working. So if you can get a ballast with a higher wattage rating, that will be the best. So here we should have an output of around 10,000 volts. And the real hot arc is really nice and even beautiful. It's also hot enough to burn paper and even melt the wire. So here are some clips of the transformer at work. So guys remember that this is high voltage, so it's not a toy, and don't even think to go near the high voltage output, because you'll have a chance of zapping yourself and you'll die. Also I'll have links down below for all the items needed, and some other useful information about the transformer and etc. So with all of this said, you should be a little bit smarter. So if you like this video, drop a like down below, and subscribe if you're new. And if you ever have some type of question, please tell me down below. So guys, appreciate it till watching till the end, and as always, stay safe and have fun. I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.